Hello and welcome, my beautiful twins, my Geminis. Brenda Tarot here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of April the 8th to the 14th year of 24. Not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single Gemini out there on the planet, but some of it will. So take what does and throw the rest out into the universe. So on that note, let's see what we have here for your week. Starting off, your download message you have is choose peace. You might be up against some opposing energy confronted by people who might want to stir the pot up and, you know, poke you with a stick, as I say, get you uh, backed up against a corner and wanting to come out in battle mode. Don't get caught up in other people's drama. They might be misdirecting their energy, negative energy, or anger towards you. Uh, their life might not be going very well at this time, and they're wanting to drag you into their drama. So <clears throat> whether it's family, best friends, your partner, uh, people you work with, whatever the case is, choose peace. Don't allow yourself to get caught up and don't allow yourself to be taken hostage to any negative energy this week so it's important that you put yourself in a really good position so you know bring yourself to that place of balance your first card you got is great fortune and i love this card because this card has to do with so many things when we talk about great fortune it can be time effort support you know money anything but this particular card can be success there could be a graduation that's coming in. Maybe some of you have are being involved. There could be, you know, you might have taken a course or a form of study where you're graduating to the next level or it is the completion success of that. Sometimes this refers to career advancement. You might be finding that you're being leveled up. You might have a new job description. You might be getting a raise. You might be, <clears throat> you know, taking over a position that's much better. You also, you know, th this could also... Nine out of ten times when we talk about this card, it can to do it can have to do with, uh, you know, business related. Um, also, this card refers to some of you may be receiving an award, you might be receiving a certificate, you might be receiving a medal, but you are definitely receiving something here in the form of beautiful fortune. Others, this could be receiving gratitude from your customers. It can be that too as well. So fortune coming in, which is great. It can be in a lot of different forms. Now we have the rider and the rider is usually indicative of news. Okay, this brings change. The news you receive could have to do with something different that you're going to be doing or something's going to change here. Also, it's movement forward. Okay, when we get this card, she's on a horse, she's riding, she's not sitting there, she's moving. Okay, um, you could be receiving a message. She carries a bag. You could be receiving a letter of some sort, a, um, a certificate or uh, some sort of a message here. Also, um, something new can be coming in. Okay, we said change could be something new, and it could also be somebody coming in that's a visitor. Somebody rides into town to be a visitor, but one way or the other, this is a good opportunity for you when we get this card. Now, you've got the Moonology message, which is the, the third quarter moon, and it could mean that something might be happening in the third week of this month. Um, adjustments are required. So we know that April is a month where we're having to <clears throat> get busy and we're having to submit our taxes and get our finances in order to, you know, uh, clean up and find closure with our fiscal year. So you might be making adjustments there as well, but this could be adjustments in anything. There could be change because we talk about change coming in, new things coming in. Maybe somebody's coming to visit you. You're having to make change around your home to accommodate them. So it can be a lot of things. Okay, coming in in your first row, my beautiful, beautiful Geminis. You've got in the first row, which could be past tense energy or the beginning of the week, you have the world, you have the two of wands, and you have the magician. So, you know, with all this good fortune, all this good energy and, you know, a vibe coming into you, uh, you're going to see that you're going to be able to see the completion of, of a one cycle and the beginning of a new one. Being free now to go after and make your choices and decisions on your own, to do things on your own terms now. This is a card of, you know, going the distance, being able to get out there and you know market yourself get out there network yourself get out there and let the powers be know who you are and what you have to offer because you have a lot my gemini's you are my google kings and queens what you don't know you make sure you find out 
you know, the Two of Wands shows up and that says you're reflecting on what you've done and you're thinking of new ways of doing things. But you may be subjected to not doing it alone. This business of meeting somebody new or connecting with the right contacts where you're going to maybe partner up, duel up with somebody where you can... Um, you can work together. Two heads are greater than one. Two minds are greater than one. Uh, y you know, building a strong unit here. Teamwork is dream work, right? Whether there's one person or a whole group of people. But you're definitely not going to want to do this on your own. Whatever goal you're going towards, you're going to have a partner as I say, a partner in crime and success. So you could be traveling, you could be planning a trip for business, or you could be planning a trip for pleasure, or you may intertwine the both together. Coming in with the magician, yes, beautiful card, universe divine, the powers that be say, guess what? Stop worrying. You don't need to go get another diploma. You don't need to get another degree. You don't need to, uh, you know, keep yourself 100% nose to the grindstone. You've got everything you need right now. All you need to do is look at the whole perspective here. This is time, effort, support, maybe even money. You, you're creating something beautiful here for yourself. And you've got all the resources to be your own magician and create this magic in your world that you want. Uh, you could be receiving some unexpected resources that are going to help elevate you help propel you in that direction help you maybe f financially coming in in the center position you which could be the energy you're feeling now or the middle of the week you've got the nine of pentacles you've got the fa the empress uh and you've got the two of swords so <clears throat> you know you still might be a little bit conflicted here with the two of swords trying to figure out which way to go and what to do um you're not seeing the trees the forest for the trees rather um you're kind of you know, you've kind of got yourself in a situation here where uh, you have a decision to make and you really don't want to make it or you're confused about making it. So sit down and think long and hard about what's going to bring you to your greater good. What's going to benefit you long term. But also this could be for some of you a legal situation where you may have to sit down uh, with a mediator and discuss these issues. Okay, so that you know what you have to, to gain and what you have to lose. You need all of that in complete clarity. Then you're going to be able to make the choice of what you want. Now, the, the Empress is that card of beautiful ultimate motherhood, giving birth to her dreams, what she nurtures, she sees grow to success. You could be working on something, but it's taking time. Please be patient and know that Rome wasn't built in the day. Okay, one foot in front of the other. Uh, it's not a race and a skid to the finish line. It's about wanting to have that accuracy, wanting to be sure that everything's done right. And when it emerges, it'll be right. Okay, so giving birth to your dreams, definitely being patient and waiting for it. Uh, this is the ultimate mother card. You could be uh, dealing with a mother or you could be taking on the mother role for someone this at this particular time, nurturing and helping them through a situation. Nine of Pentacles, keeping your eyes open, knowing that you need to be able to see every single opportunity that's coming in. Uh, you know, looking at things from a higher perspective, being open to things, not just what you know now, but new things that you can learn. So I always say she walks with a falcon with a hood on, and that's a big, big message that you need to keep your eyes wide open and be open-minded, okay? Uh, also, you know, you're going to be able to see that there's going to be a lot of offers and, op and, and, and uh, opportunities to choose from here. I always say, you know, don't pick from one tree in, her, in your garden. Pick from all of them, okay? They all can taste different but beautiful in their own way. Coming in with the last row, which could be the end of your week or the energy coming in towards you, future energy, the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and Temperance. Now remember, we're talking about waiting, taking your time, uh, not rushing into anything here. Uh, this is what you're going to be doing, okay? The temperance is all about balance, and that means you have to be in a good situation, a good position to go out there and make your mark on the world. And that means don't rush in. Okay, don't don't rush in, don't make any snap choices, decisions, uh, read over everything, read between the lines. If you have to get representation to guide you through the process, do that. Okay, uh, this is about knowing that spirit's got your back and you're going to be seeing signs, little signs that tell you, uh, -uh don't do this or now's the time to jump in. Okay, uh, but right now do things in moderation. Don't overdo, don't push yourself, don't over worry, don't, uh, you know, don't make any quick decisions right now or you know things like that now the king of cups and the knight of cups 
two beautiful energies. The king, of course, is the ultimate, loving, caring, compassionate, understanding, comes forward, and he's just like one big warm blanket, okay? Somebody in your life that might be stepping forward with their wise and helpful advice, but they do it because they care about you sincerely. They don't want anything. You don't have to retain them. You don't have to pay them. You don't have to pay them back. Okay, coming in and getting some wise advice. Now, you could be the one that's giving it to someone else. But I always read this, that you are the recipient of possibly receiving this from somebody. Take it. Yeah, lucky are we when we get that king of cups in our corner. Could be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or someone with water in their sign. Knight of Cups, yeah, comes charging into town, sweeps you off your feet, and you could possibly fall madly in love with this knight. Again, kind, caring, adaptable, changeable, amicable. He can be anything you want him to be or her. Okay, that's how easy they are to be in their company with. Uh, this particular one could make you fall in love with them or you could be invited to an occasion which is a wedding or an engagement party where you're going to see all that love being out there. Uh, this can also be being in love with a situation. This person could be bringing you some wonderful opportunity or idea that just makes you feel, wow, beautiful. Okay, let's see what we've got here for your energy cards here the verification cards what additional information you need to see know and expect for this week of april the 8th <clears throat> and that's a little bit better now you can see the date okay yellow on <clears throat> yellow color on yellow doesn't work but it works across my red shirt so i have to keep changing as i move my cameras around so <clears throat> all right let's see what we've got here Let's see what we have here. Coming in with the world card. You've got <clears throat> the wounded warrior, the seven of wands. Uh, you know, you may be feeling battle weary. You feel like you've been struggling and fighting something for a while. And it's just constant, constant, constant. This is a card that says the reason you're going to come out ahead of the game here is because you didn't roll over and give up. So remember that. Consistency and persistency. Coming in with the two of wands, you're the star here. You are right now the headliner on your stage, being able to go out there and walk in your light and your glow. This is about <clears throat> dreaming big and believing in your dreams here, that your magic can happen. Okay, This is a card of success. Dreams coming true. Walking in your light, letting people know who you are, marketing yourself, getting out there. You're the headliner on your stage. You're good at that my Geminis. Keep that in mind. The Magician. You've got the Five of Wands. Yeah, constantly having to improve yourself, but feel that you have to compete with, you know, the masses. Um, <clears throat> especially in business. We we tend to have to either compete with those at work. We feel we want to be out there. Uh, you could be in your own business trying to compete with, you know, other businesses similar to yours. Um, but struggling, okay? This is a card that says you don't have to do this. Uh, or if you're being drawn into somebody else's drama, pick your battles wisely, okay? Don't get involved in everybody else's drama this week. Coming in with the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Wands. So you're still feeling, you know, you're, you're still concerned about something because you're waiting for something to come in. And it leaves you doubting. Is it going to happen? Is it going to work? Will I succeed? Will I get what I've asked for? Will, you know, did I do everything right? Uh, this is a card that says when you get up in your head like that, oftentimes we, we lose our sleep or we don't sleep the way we should. This card says let it go. S maintain your stability and your balance here. Uh, and stay positive. Well, here's your positive card on the Empress giving birth to your dreams. You have the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is indicative of all over happiness. Happy ever after. Uh, happy within your, and peace and harmony within yourself and your home life uh, or your soul pod or your tribe around you, your family possibly. Uh, feeling the, feeling so at peace. This card is also the card saying that your cups are continuing to fill. Okay. Know that we don't fill them all at once. We have to do one at a time. Right. Okay. So cups are filling both in your home life your relationships, and beautiful, beautiful opportunities coming your way. Two of Swords, we have the Eight of Pentacles, working hard on your goals, not backing down. You know, you could be taking a new form of study. You might be learning something new. Uh, you are trying to perfect your craft. It's something that you're doing so that you can go out there with confidence and do well at it. <clears throat> um, this is, you know, learning hands-on. Uh, you could be taking on a job where you're learning something new. They're going to teach you there on the spot and you're going to want to prove yourself that you can do it. 
and that you're good at what you do and you will. Um, this is a card that says you could be, as I say, taking something, a, a form of study that's going to help you level up uh, at your place of employment. But this is you working hard for what you've got. Some of you could be apprenticing. You know, you might be learning that way where you're having to do the theory and the practical, uh, but really enjoying what you do. Coming in with the King of Cups, you have the King of Cups. What can I say? Oh, amazing energy. Somebody that could be a water sign around you that steps forward to say, hey, I'm here for you. Come what may. So I love this King of Cups. Wise and helpful and kind and caring advice. Coming in with that Knight of Cups, you've got the Judgment card. You've made a decision. You're going in a new direction. And you're only going to take those who truly do support you. Like this Knight of Cups. Somebody who's going to be there and have your back. Somebody who's going to be there to support and protect you as you move through this next journey. Uh, leaving things behind. Second chances. Beautiful card. All right. Coming in with the Temperance. Waiting and waiting. You've got the Four of Swords. So again, this is a card that is advising you to take a time out to call a truce whether it's to get out of your head with the constant going over uh, uh, things and um, obsessing about things going on around you all the time because it's a concern to you uh, you need to take a time out from that go clear your head go rest go meditate more do what you need to do to get away from that this is, you know, calling a truce and knowing that you're in a safe sit situation now when you pull back from all that negative energy and walk away from it. Uh, you're safe. Uh, you know, this is about just saying, hey, pull back and get your rest. Some of you, again, might not be getting your sleep. We had that nine of wands as well. Okay. So don't back down. Uh, you've created something really good here. But on the other hand, you need to take care of yourself as well. Well, <clears throat> Gemini, this is your reading. I see, you know, you're going to see great fortune come in in one way or the other. You're going to hear about a good opportunity, good news. Uh, you know, there's going to be some adjustments made. And you're going to choose peace above all. Well, <clears throat> I wish you a great remainder to today. A beautiful, optimistic, healthy, happy, and prosperous week. And know that I send you love and many blessings. See you soon.